This video will give you a brief introduction to the Greensite portal and Greensite turfgrass maps. When logging in, most users will see a location card for their course or courses. If you have been using Greensite, you will be taken to the last golf course view you looked at. Clicking on the course will bring you to the course overview. The tabs at the top left allow you to switch between map types. You can step backward and forward through imagery using the date interface on the top right. Clicking on the date itself allows you to jump to any previous flight. The buttons on the left give you the ability to open up full screen view or allow you to zoom in. You can also zoom by double clicking or simply scrolling with your mouse. On a mobile device, you can pinch to zoom. Visible imagery is very useful for spotting irrigation issues, damage, or wear. You can also track renovation progress over the course of a project. Here we see renovations starting over the winter months. You can right click on the screen to bring up the button to copy a link to this exact view. You can now send this link to anyone via email or text message and they can access the view with no password required. Now let's take a look at GSNDVI imagery. These maps show you turf stress. We use a special near infrared camera to highlight stress before it's visible to the naked eye. We calibrate this imagery off of your greens ensuring that the map is tailored to the specific conditions of your course. These maps will exaggerate thin cover, wear, or stress due to disease. Zooming in on this green, we can see that the northern edge is glowing red due to additional stress. This area should be investigated to see if there is a moisture issue or perhaps disease. Let's take a look at greenside temperature maps. These maps show you measured surface temperature of the course. They can be useful for spotting frost or spotting standing water that may be heating up in afternoon sun. We also use this data to generate our estimated evapotranspiration maps. These maps will highlight the parts of your course where ET rates are low and grass is heating up. These areas are colored in orange and yellow. Purple or black areas indicate areas where moisture is higher and ET is cooling the grass. Dark areas are good places to dial back irrigation to save on water. Orange areas may be at risk of damage if you reduce run times during deficit irrigation. Our ET maps, combined with our green viewer, can help you spot greens that need to be hand watered or need manual moisture measurement. Greens glowing in orange are ones that need attention. You can save time by not tasking your staff to greens that are clearly well watered.